This video will show you how I built an 8-step pitch sequencer for my Tascam Porter 02, using a Raspberry Pi Pico and pulse width modulation. I have attached a tutorial of the full build below, with code and schematics for you to use on your own tape machines. Adding pitch control to a tape machine is a really common mod, however, the traditional potentiometer method is a bit limited, in that it does not allow for accurate control of the playback speed, nor does it provide any autonomous way of modulating speeds over time. Although it is possible to add control voltage to this method, this can get quite complicated and still not be particularly accurate. For this project I was interested in how pulse width modulation would enable me to accurately sequence different motor speeds over time. First of all, the Raspberry Pi Pico is a microcontroller that can run MicroPython scripts and has a set of GPIO pins that can interface with different devices and circuits. Each of the GPIO pins can output pulse width modulation, which is a way of emulating analog signals digitally by quickly switching the voltage output on and off. Since the Pico only provides a 3.3 volt output, the 12 volt DC motor in the tape machine still needs to be powered by the tape machine itself. Therefore to control the power fed to the tape machine, we can apply pulse width modulation to an N-channel MOSFET, which controls the power supply from the tape machine. Here you can see one of the initial tests that used pulse width modulation to control the motor outside of the tape machine. Once I got the pulse width modulation circuit working, I connected a rotary encoder and OLED display to the Pico, and started programming the user interface. The module incorporates a simple menu structure that allows you to access and control different Python scripts, including a settings menu, a simple pitch control, an 8-step sequencer, and a splash screen patch. One of the main aims of the project was to control the speed of the motor with musical note values. To do this, I had to find the correlation between the duty cycle of the pulse width modulation and the playback speed. I started by recording a 1 kHz sine wave to tape, and then recorded the duty cycle at each 50 Hz decrease in pitch. With these results I then calculated the exponential correlation function in Excel, which allowed me to calculate the duty cycle needed to play back the tape at any desired frequency. Then I used the MIDI note to frequency equation to obtain the frequency for any given musical note. Since each tape machine will produce a different correlation function, I included a settings patch that allows you to input the constant and exponent value directly into the module without having to change the code. These settings are saved to a text file so that they can be recalled the next time you turn on the module. The pitch mod patch functions as a traditional pitch mod, allowing you to set the playback to a fixed speed using frequency and MIDI note values. The sequencer patch is where the module becomes a bit more exciting. This patch allows you to adjust the note values for eight different sequence steps that are set to crotchet intervals with a user-defined tempo. A bar at the bottom of the screen shows the current step in the sequence, and the bar at the top allows you to select a parameter to adjust. The sequencer also allows you to turn the volume on or off for each step by checking the small box beneath each step. The volume control circuit is created using a Vactral, which is a DIY optocoupler consisting of an LED and a light-dependent resistor, housed inside some heat shrink. When the LED is turned on, the resistance of the LDR decreases, and vice versa. The Vactral is connected to the main output of the tape head, so that when the volume gate is switched off, the increase in resistance from the LDR cuts the signal out of the tape head. This allows you to add some rests in between notes, but also opens the possibility of applying volume envelopes to the module in the future.
In the future, I aim to add a MIDI input circuit to the module that will read MIDI notes and velocity data for monophonic control of the tape machine. I also aim to include a CV input that will convert 1 volt per octave control voltage to the corresponding playback speed. For now though, I hope you enjoyed this video, and please follow my tutorial to try the build out for yourself.